Well, I'm not a great traveller, so I was a little bit concerned about coming over, but I have to say that I want to thank the uh, skipper because he got us here safely and he got us here dry. And it was a wonderful experience being on the boat, just going around the island. It's a breathtaking location. It's a beautiful spot. And I would encourage many people who haven't actually had the opportunity yet to come over to Rathlin to do so. It also was a great opportunity for myself as MEP to meet with the islanders, to hear how European money through World Development Fund, through farming, uh, pillar one, pillar two, that all, how that money is spent, but also to hear about their needs. And that was a great experience for myself being with the minister herself because she dedicated not just what she came back but she would bring her officials back so we met with the farmers we also met with the school children and to see so many children all doing you know really different skills in the school but applying themselves and enjoying themselves at a very young age and then to see how tourists are going to be able to flock to here and have a great location the pontoon was also um, a great experience to see that. And then I seen Conor Murphy, Minister, when he was DRD Minister, uh, Minister for Regional Development, that he opened a community centre. So the facilities that they have here are plentiful. So you could see as a tourist, you would have a great tourist experience, but the beauty of this island makes you realise why the islanders themselves are so proud of this island and so proud of Rathlin. And I hope that I can do what I can to facilitate, help them in the time ahead to put their needs up in agenda and to make sure that their needs is catered for not just by the executive here at home but with what we can do as MEPs in Europe. Well today uh, was the official launch of the pontoons on the an island of Rathlin. Rathlin's the only inhabited island off the north coast of the, on the, the six counties and it's great today that we have the Agriculture Minister Michelle O'Neill along with uh, our MEP Martina Anderson We've did meetings this morning uh, with various interested groups, particularly with the farmers. We're heading now to look at other funded projects through the Rural Development Project, including a youth hostel on the island. The youth, the youth hostel is obviously integral to, to building tourism on the island and it's one of the main uh, industries for the people of Rathlin. So basically today it's all about us here and what the issues are for, for rural, rural life and, and isolated populations such as Rathlin and Sinn Féin together will work to ensure that we deliver for the people on this island. So it's great to see so much happening on the island, there's a huge investment and it's great to see uh, partnership working along with our MLAs and our MP here on, on Rathlin Island. Well, it's been a great um, visit to Rathlin Island today. This is actually my first visit to the island and the islanders have been very friendly and absolutely welcoming. Um, I'm here today because we were launching the new pontoons, which are a fantastic uh, tourism opportunity for, for the islanders. Um, we'll obviously be able to accommodate a lot more boats um, to come along and visit the island and hopefully stay over, spend some money on the island. So it's all it's all a very good news story for, for the island today. We've also had the opportunity to visit um, another project that's been funded through the Rural Development Programme, and that is the project for a new um, hostel facility which again it's um, nearing completion so I look forward to, to coming back and actually being part of the official opening for, for that project too. Um, we've had a choppy trip over on the boat today but um, great uh, navigator so it's, it's been a very enjoyable experience. Um, I'm really grateful for the islanders. I think um, it's very clear to me being here today that the islanders have a lot of issues that um, need to be addressed and taken on board. They are unique and I think all departments need to be mindful of that in terms of providing services. It's certainly something that I'm um, going to take on board after today's visit and deal with my department in terms of what we're delivering for the island and the special unique status that they have as islanders.